Hey guys, Joey from Quest J Video Productions here, just doing a quick video, and I just turned my light on there, uh, over the desk, so, just wanted to do a, <coughs> a quick video here, now that I've gotten the rail fitting trip out of the way, um, I went to Thanksgiving at my great aunt Margaret and great uncle Richard's house, uh, they passed away a couple of years ago, but, Unknown to me, they used to use fountain pens. And their son knew that I love fountain pens and he wanted to give them to me. And these things are absolutely vintage. Now, I don't know how old these are. If anybody could tell me, please let me know. Um. Most of the brands I am not familiar with, and I don't know of, um, it doesn't seem like, uh, it comes apart. As you can see, there's no way to take it apart. Yep, same. So I think these are just the kind that you dip in the ink so anyway with that being said this I don't know what brand this is but this one is stenciled J.R. Williams which is my uh, my uh, great uncle's initials which is why I'm really surprised that he wanted to give it to me but Anyway, I think it's, like I said, I think this is just a point old dip pen, but we'll go ahead and start with this one. It looks like a fine nib. Couldn't find a brand on this one, but anyway. They're kind of a mess, but uh, that's okay. Um, that Private Reserve Naples Blue, and uh, here we go. And it's surprisingly smooth for as old as it is. I mean, I thought it would be really scratchy and just about unusable, but... It actually writes just fine to speak of, but... Yeah. Like I said, I don't know the brand on this one, but... Uh... It's definitely an oldie. I have to guess probably uh, 50, 60 years old. So that's the J.R. Williams pen, whatever brand that is. <coughs> this is... Um, I couldn't find a brand, a brand name on this one either, but this has got a kind of a green marble finish. Looks like a fine nib as well. Go ahead and dip it in. And give it a shot. Now, obviously, since I'm going to need to y use an inkwell for these pens, they're not going to be able to leave my room. But... I 
I do appreciate. Having these classics in my possession. Alright, so this is, um, I don't know what it is. Anyway. It's a pretty wet rider. Whatever it is. Anyway. Now this is an Esterbrook. You probably can't see it on the label because it's kind of, you can kind of see it. Here, bring it into the light. Yeah, Esterbrook. Main USA. Now, on the other hand, this one looks like more of a stub nib. You can see it's more squared off than the other two. Now, I tried this one. This one is a little bit more of a different riding experience as opposed to the other two. But anyway... Here we go. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, that's a real broad line. I mean, that's that's that thickness is up there with uh Actually, that might be a little bit, that might even be a little bit thicker than my Twisby and my, uh, my Twisby Braun and my, uh, Miami Safari Medium. This might even be a 1.1 stub. But man, this one is smooth. And I just smudged it. Dang. Here. Hold on. There we go. That's the problem is this is a very wet nib. And I just hold my pen like a lefty so that doesn't help either. Let's see. This is also, and then this next pen is also an Esther book. I believe. And this is a... This looks like a finer pen. Okay. <clears throat> Last one. Gives it kind of a paintbrush feel, really. Smudge that. This one is definitely a little scratchier, but uh, 